Today I will be showing you where to find and how to use secret blocks available in Scratch. First off, we need to access Scratch's website and add lab period. Here are some of the block categories. While face sensing is already on Scratch, these other two are not. Below are some common questions. So let's check out these blocks, including a secret set of blocks that isn't on here. Let's begin with animated text. This feature prints text onto your project and you can customize its font, color, and more. There's also special features as demonstrated. This feature has been wanted to be added on Scratch by Scratchers, but it is not known if it will ever make it onto the regular Scratch platform. For now, special blocks like these cannot be accessed on the regular Scratch site, nor can they be shared. So in order to save your work with these blocks, you must save your project to your device. This animated text is very useful for printing dialogue, scores, etc. Now let's give video sprites a try. This fills a part of your sprite with the camera. Since I do not want my face in this video, I have my camera permissions off so the camera is picked up as nothing. However, Scratch doesn't save your camera history so you can try this yourself. Some of the block functions are demonstrated as shown. It is a handy feature for camera-based projects. Since face sensing is already on the main Scratch extensions, let's try out one more that is hidden. The AI blocks. Let's go to the web address and add slash AI dash blocks slash. Here we are. Unfortunately, this is a very glitchy tool and the AI is not working today. However, it worked for me yesterday, so it may or may not work for you. Basically, this set of blocks connects to OpenAI and creates a relevant response. You can create an AI answering bot or set it to a personality by using the set system prompt block. This is very fun and useful, at least when it is working. On the screen, you can see how you can utilize these blocks to code an AI chatbot that receives input and responds to it appropriately. Thanks for watching this video. For more Scratch tutorials, videos, and content, like and subscribe to Holly Coder on YouTube.